Good morning children. Today we shall learn about estimation. So, what is estimation? Let's first revise what is rounding up which we did in previous classes. Here we have a number 638. And how do we round it up? Here look at one's place. It has a digit 8. Now when the digit at one's place is 5 or greater than 5, what do we do? We increase the tens place by 1 and make the ones place as 0. So here 8 is rounded up and this number becomes equal to 640 and what did we do here? We rounded the number to nearest 10. Now let us take another example. Here what will we do? We will round off the number to nearest 100. As we are rounding off to nearest 100, let's look at tens place. Here the digit at tens place is greater than 5. So we need to increase the hundreds place by 1. So what does it become? Here this 65 is rounded to 100 and hence this number becomes 1800. Basically you can say that 65 is closer to 100 instead of 0. So this number 65 was rounded to 100 and hence the number became 1800 or 1800. Understood? Now let us round the number to nearest 1000. So if we are rounding up to 1000, let's see what do we have at hundreds place. Here we have four hundreds which means the value here is less than 5. So we need to round down the number which means this is 435 it is closer to 0 than to 1000. So when rounding off the number becomes equal to 1000. Uh, this should not be confusing because if you just see how many hundreds? 400 which is less than 500. Hence we need to round it down and 435 is written as 0 when rounding off to nearest thousands. Understood? Now let us see the usage of rounding off the number in number operations. This is Bhola and he bought new appliances for his home. So he bought a new refrigerator for 9,975 rupees. He also bought a table fan costing 2,230 rupees. His friend Raju asked him, how much did you spend on the table fan and the refrigerator? To which Bhola replied, I spent rupees 12,000. Now let us add the two values and figure out whether Bhola was speaking correctly that is was giving the correct reply. So we'll add up the two values and figure out if the Bhola's answer was correct. So 9975 gets added to 2230. 
let's start to add starting from the ones place 5 plus 0 is equal to 5 7 plus 3 is 10 so we write a 0 here and 1 is carry forward now let's do the addition at hundreds place 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 which is the carry over so 12 we write now let's add the digits at hundreds place so 9 plus 2 is 11 plus the carry over so 12 again we are adding the digits at thousands place so 9 plus 2 is 11 plus 1 12 so the answer is 12,205 and that is in rupees so the total was rupees 12,205 but Bhola said I spent rupees 12,000 so was he correct yes he was correct because he was rounding the value or he was giving the approximate answer and 12,205 was rounded to 12,000 and he rounded the number to this was approximation or estimation which he did and for this what did he do he rounded to the nearest thousands just see 205 was rounded to nearest thousand and hence the value was approximately equal to 12,000 so this is the way we make use of estimation in number operations that is we round off the number and it helps to get approximate answers while adding subtracting dividing or multiplying so estimation helps us in day-to-day -day operations which we do for calculating while doing different problems as we saw Bola gave the approximate answer for the total price and he said approximately 12,000 rupees was the total price you know there is a symbol used for approximation and this is the symbol so when Bola said total price was approximately rupees 12,000 it could have been written as total price is approximately with the symbol rupees 12,000 understood now let us take another example this is Jagan and he sold 98 bags of wheat at rupees 121 each now let us figure out approximately how much amount did he receive for the 98 bags of wheat which he sold we can say the amount received by Jagan is equal to the price of one bag which is 121 multiplied by 98 this is approximately equal to 121 we round down to 120 and 98 is rounded up to 100 so approximately the amount received by Jagan is equal to 12,000 rupees so you can say the amount received by Jagan for 98 bags of wheat is approximately equal to rupees 12,000.
thousand. So now you know what is the use of estimation in various number operations. This estimation helps us to get the approximate answers be it in addition, subtraction, multiplication or division and this is very useful in our practical lives. So that was all about estimation or approximation. Bye bye children.